All right, it's time to talk about Minka Fitzpatrick and the difference maker that he is with the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary. You know, I've always been told that teams lose more games than they go out and win them. And what does that really mean? Is that defenses usually give up big plays because of busted coverages or mental errors. Now, two positions get you beat in football more than any other. Yes, the quarterback position if they make a lot of mistakes, but if the secondary, they make one mistake, Usually the official is standing in the end zone, throwing up both arms, signaling a touchdown. And that's why if you're going to have a secondary, you have to be able to eliminate the big plays. It's not just about getting turnovers. Well, before the arrival of Minka Fitzpatrick with the Pittsburgh Steelers in their first two games, they had given up 16 big time plays of 15 yards or more, second most of any defense in the National Football League. In fact, they had one of the worst coverage grades of any defense during those first two weeks. They had an EPA that was third worst in the National Football League. That is expected points per play in the passing game. This was one of the worst teams in any phase of pass coverage. However, when they got Minka Fitzpatrick, we see a huge improvement. I'm going to show you a couple of plays from those early two games that show you that the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary was in need of big time changes. Take a look at this week one play against the New England Patriots. This Pittsburgh Steelers secondary, they're in a deep cover two zone. Now take a look at the two deep safeties because they're going to get out of position and allow receiver to get behind them that really should have turned into a big time touchdown for the offensive football team. This is a wide receiver throwback and this secondary just lacked discipline. See, take a look at this play right here. The receiver's gonna come open and you can see it. If they would have thrown it to him, it would have been a touchdown. Instead, they throw it to the halfback and he gets a big play. So either way, this secondary was ill-prepared and undisciplined to stop a big time pass play. Okay, now this is later in the very same game in the second quarter. Take a look at number 34. He's going to be the safety, Terrell Edmonds. And he's going to bite on this little play action fake. Tom Brady's going to fake the ball to the running back. And then watch how Edmonds is pulled out of position. And he is going to bite on that, allowing this play to get behind him over into the scene. There it is. He's out of position. He took the false step and then allowed the receiver to get behind him for what was an easy touchdown. These are just a few of the big time pass plays that the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary allowed in those first two weeks of the season. So you can see in those first two games of the season, the Pittsburgh Steelers coaching staff and Mike Tomlin, they had seen enough. They know they needed to go out and get a player like Minka Fitzpatrick who would help cure the ills of a secondary that was giving up big time pass plays due to busted coverages and mental breakdowns on the back end. He needed essentially someone who's a coach on the field who could bring more stability to the secondary. I'm going to show you how he made an immediate impact on the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary and he was making plays from day one. Now take a look at Minka Fitzpatrick here. He's going to be lined up at the secondary free safety position much in the same way that Terrell Edmonds had given up a play on play action pass. He's going to get the same look here, but watch how much better he plays it. Look, he's not pulled out of position. He's steady. He stays in the center of the field. He's not lured to one side, but watch him make a break on this pass from the quarterback and make it a big time play. Not only did he eliminate what could have been an easy touchdown for the offense, Minka Fitzpatrick turns it into an offensive play for the defense. Okay, here is an example of Minka Fitzpatrick and what we call a tremendously high football IQ because he's going to be lined up in the center of the field, but he's disguising the fact that he's going to buzz down into this curl area and he's doing what we call pattern reading. He knows that the routes of the receiver, they're all combined to match in a pattern. So when this inside receiver comes down the field and break out, Minka Fitzpatrick intuitively know that the outside receiver is his route is coordinated to break inside. And that's why he's gonna be well positioned to get himself a really nice play here. And let's take a look at it. He'll just break. And then when that inside receiver goes out, look, it's almost like having eyes in the back of your head. He doesn't come up with the interception, but he puts himself in a position to eliminate a big play for the offense. All right, let's take a look at the data because this is something that the scoreboard couldn't show you. What Fitzpatrick has given this secondary since he's arrived 
after that week two game, they've improved to become the third best coverage team in the NFL. They have given up the fifth fewest plays of 15 yards or more. They have the second most interceptions, 19 in all, since Fitzpatrick's arrival with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And look at this, the second lowest EPA, that's expected points per pass play since his arrival with the Pittsburgh Steelers. As you can see, Minka Fitzpatrick has brought stability to the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary. No longer are people just running free, giving up easy touchdowns, miscommunications, and misalignments. He's making sure that all the other guys are on the same page, quarterbacking that defense, and keeping everyone well-coordinated. Now, it just so happens that they lead the league with 35 takeaways, and so that's something that he's brought to this defense. However, we know that turnovers and takeaways, it's unreliable. You can't depend on that to win each and every week in the National Football League. This offense, though, they are an Achilles heel. They have the lowest EPA, that is expected points per play, of any offense in the National Football League. So they need the defense to get takeaways. But in order for the trend to continue, for this team to continue to win, they're going to need players like Minka Fitzpatrick not to get interceptions or takeaways, but just eliminate the big plays for the offense. No more bonehead giveaways and miscues in terms of alignment and assignment. Just be a steady player and the Pittsburgh Steelers can keep winning. Yeah, we know that turnovers are unreliable, but being a smart, heady football player like Minka Fitzpatrick is definitely something you can depend on each and every week. Thanks for watching the PFF YouTube channel. And if you want to subscribe, all you have to do is push the button. Don't forget everything you get. A little fantasy, push the button. A little green line for the gambling aspects of the game, push the button. College football, push the button. The YouTube channel from PFF.